Oh, that is a thing of beauty. The approach into the first at TPC Southman Rich played uphill to a challenging green. Back up the hill ever so slightly when the pin is on the back portion of the green. It's hard to get it close, but anywhere on the front part of the green, you can get it close and make birdie. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the first. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. They've made it. Off to a great start today. Yeah, you gotta love seeing those go in early. Puts you in a good mood for the rest of the day. The second at TPC Southwind presents the first real booty chance. Just a short par four playing 401 yards. Well, this should find the short grass. This one is chewing fiber. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Hey, that's a chance. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. And I like it two in a row. Let's head over to the third. for the fifth shot. Hmm. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. The third hole at TPC Southwind, Rich, the first of the par fives on the golf course. A lot of water in play. You need to be brave if you're going for this in two. More golf balls hit into the water at TPC Southwind than any other golf course on tour. An excellent reason why you get a little careless. That water on the right hand side is going to gobble up that second. John, what's going on out there? Well, I'm taking a look at Cameron Champ's game down here on the 14th. Well, that's incredible. And for birdie, too. Oh, a messy little lie in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. Yes, in the hole. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. Looking really good, this one. Oh, super putt, that. What an eagle. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Currently at minus four for the round. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. The fourth hole here at TPC Southwind is the first par three on the course, and it measures just under 200 yards. Just avoid the penalty area to the left. Opting for the five iron. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Get in. Well, that'll help you move up the leaderboard. And with that, he'll move to five under par.
Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The fifth at TPC Southwind is a long par four measuring 485 yards. It requires a good strong drive to avoid the bunker on the left and then an accurate approach into this green. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Well, you've got to give some credit there. That was the right club and the right line. John, give us a small update. Come down on the sixth hole as Matt Kuchar gets ready to hit. The lines aren't too bad here in the first cut of rough. And a chance for a spot in the top 20 of the leaderboard if you can make this. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. Got to say... Putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And stepping up the standings after that effort. The strategy at the sixth here at TPC Southwind on this par four, measuring just under 450 yards from the tips, is to position your drive from the tee to give a clear shot into this green. Good looking shot, this. Sitting at six under. Yeah, that one's looking good. That goes down for an eagle. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Luke, love it. Let's take another look. He's in a share of 10th position. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. The seventh at TPC Southwind is a strong par four measuring 482 yards from the back tee. A big clump of trees on the left and the one on the right is to be avoided off the tee. Also, a good angle to attack this green is from the left half of this fairway with a huge greenside tree that also affects any poor approaches. Eight under for the day. Currently tied for 10th place. Going with the 9-9, I think. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. Well, that'll be one of the shots of the day, that's for sure. Gee, I wish I could play like this myself. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Oh, good look at Birdie here. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. Now five strokes behind. The eighth hole at TPC Southwind is a really nice short par three measuring just 164 yards. This green has been recently contoured, so accuracy or distance control off the tee is paramount. Going with the seven. This one's going right at the pin here. Yeah, nicely played. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Well, these are certainly shot savers. What about this long-range putt? 
And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, this one looks like about 26 feet. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. And it's time to recap that play. He's currently tied for eighth. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. The finishing hole on the front nine here at TPC Southwind plays downhill towards a dog leg right. There's a big body of water, the short front left of this green, so make sure you've got enough club to reach the surface. That's not what he had hoped for, I'm pretty sure of that. Moments ago, a beautiful shot happened on the course. Let's take a look at it. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. This lie's not great. Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. That's a pretty handy shot. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. A spot in the all-important top five coming up, if you can hold this. Oh, what a great stroke. Nice putt to make that one. Give yourselves a pat on the back. To the top five he goes. And let's have one more look at that shot. Rich, good position for this player. Just three back with nine to play. Do you sense them making a charge? Three strokes down with nine to go, Luke. They're going to have to come up with something sporty to get to the top of the leaderboard at day's end. Wow. They let the big dog eat on that one. Woof. Coming off a hat trick of birdies. That's great momentum. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Oh, what a ripper from long range. Oh, got to love it. Chipping in for birdie. Nothing better. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the videotape. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. I tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. Outstanding approach shot. Good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. There's been some great play all over this course. How about this shot at the 12th? Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. This was his second. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. They are trailing, heading into the short par four. Do they take it on to the layup? How much do they trust their swing right now? We'll find out. Oh, that was pure. And this effort by Justin Thomas. This line doesn't look too tough, just in the first cut, right by the green. Setting up miles from the hole.
This one looking really good. And you hold it. What a monster. And it's worth taking another look at that one. Currently 14 under for the event. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. The par 4 13th at TPC Southwind plays uphill and 472 yards. Dustin Johnson once hit a drive here, 375 yards, which left just a flick wedge in. It set up a victory. Have you got the power in the tank? That's what it's required to make a birdie. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? A wonderful shot and a chance for Booty here on the 13th. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Well done. Take the birdie. Step aside, everyone else. Now number one. Now leading by one shot. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? The 14th at TPC Southwind is one of their signature holes. The par three that plays downhill considerably long, around 240 yards, is hit over a big body of water to the right. Fortune favours the brave here. If you need a birdie, go flag hunting. Otherwise, lay up to around 20 feet left. Opting for the three iron here. This one could take a little bounce to the left. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Slim chance for a birdie. But in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. It was on a good line. And that should secure the par. Well done. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Accuracy is required at the par 4 15th, just 395 yards off the tee. Players like to lay back to give them their right number into this green. And there's a little creek that meanders through the centre of the fairway here and up to the right side of the green. So make sure your approach is accurate. That's a good looking shot there. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Down here on the 16th hole, this is Matt Kuchar. Okay, let's get back to the action. Time for the second shot at the 15th. Great looking shot, this. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Just six feet between here and the hole. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. Well, with just a slim lead coming down that stretch, anything can happen. The 16th at TPC Southwind is the last genuine birdie hole on the course. It's a par 5 measuring just 530 yards, but there's a lot required on the tee shot that's played uphill to a ridge. If you can get it up over the rise, a good chance for reaching the green here in two to set up a birdie and even perhaps eagle. But be wary of this green. There's a big bunker short left, and if you find it, it's not an easy up and down. Well, maybe even a par can be hard. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Getting ready to play their third. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Oh, that's incredible. He's sold it. Ooh, tasty little pitch shot. Gets to go. Fist pumps all around. Oh, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle.
Ouch, that hurts. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Looking good. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. The penultimate hole at TPC Southwind is a very strong par four, measuring 490 yards off the back tees. There is a little creek that runs through the centre of the fairway here, but that only catches the biggest of drives. There's two big trees either side that you want to position yourself in the middle of, so then you can hit a clean shot to the green. Two strong shots required to get onto the surface, and even once you're on the green, par isn't assured. Opting for the 9-iron. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. This one's tracking. Well done. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Well, the finishing hole at TPC Southwind is an absolute beauty. There's been some heroic moments like hole out eagles, and there's been triple bogeys that have cost championships. Your job is to get the ball safely into the fairway here. If you're not a long driver, don't take on the corner. But if you can, it'll leave you just a short iron in, a chance to seal a victory with a birdie. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Lining up here for a chance to win the tournament. What a putt to make. Oh, so close. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And with that, this player will win the event. Ended up being tied for first, but after getting the count back victory, they'll take home the spoils. Backing up the Brinks truck once again this week, filling it up. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam. And on behalf of all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now.